what's going on guys so we are currently going on a little road trip we are gonna be going to Kharkov and we're gonna be stopping in Poltava and so you're gonna have a video of everything that you wish you knew about different cities here in Ukraine including Poltava which is a pretty interesting city and the second largest city in Kharkov so definitely join us on this ride at a gas station and we have about 312 kilometers or three hours to get to Poltava and I think we're gonna be arriving at around 8 30 p.m. today and so here in Ukraine there are pretty much only a couple of really good gas stations this is one of really uh, good gas stations here Wog Market it's very nice it's very clean you can have a bite you can relax it has good gas and uh, so we stop here just uh, for a quick break uh, get some food, just relax for a second, and then we're gonna continue on the journey. So we're waiting for our food, but before, I wanna show you this Mors. We got this Mors Yagodne, which is a very, very popular drink here in, U in Ukraine. And then we also got some Bob Snail chocolate, uh, some cookies. Here's what they look like. Very, very tasty, actually. Break complete. Now we're continuing our journey. So we just arrived to Poltava. Uh, we're gonna be checking into this apartments actually, and it looks like it's very, very modern. Uh, we parked over here. This is the house here. And so you need a key card to get in. This is what it looks like on the inside. Reminds me a little bit of a hostel environment, even though it's, uh, it's individual apartments. Okay, so you gotta go up. And there's our apartment. And what's cool is you needed to enter the code to get your key. And now we're gonna do a quick room tour here. Here we have the bathroom. It looks very, very modern. We have the showers, we have the toilet, we have the sink here, mirrors. Here is actually the first level. This is the first level. We have a staircase. It's actually two levels. We have a little kitchenette here. We have an electric stove, we have a sink. We also have a view, which I believe of, uh, I don't actually know, it looks like there's some outdoor area here. We have the view of the city, parts of the city. Let's go to the second floor. We got our dinner here. We just picked up from the restaurant. Let's go to the second floor and have a look what we have here. And what do we have here? We have the bed. This is a nice bed here, very, very large. We have a little cabinet and we have a chair, we have a table here, closet and another chair. So this is awesome and it's very, very affordable. This room is around, I think it's less than $50 for this kind of room. I think it's around $40. Good morning guys. So I wanna show you what this place looks like in the daytime. I didn't really see this. But if you take a look, we have this whole little space here, this little playground, and you can have some barbecue here. There's a little pathway. Uh, you can have some food. You can relax. They also have a small gym here with, uh, you can do some dips, some stomach exercises, pull-ups. They even have some uh, dumbbells here. Really, really cool. And our view of the room is actually up on top. So we have this whole view of this, um, 
little area here and then we have the whole view of the city and I cannot show you that right now because we have this uh, fence here but it looks amazing there's a whole open field there there's even a little train uh, that goes there now And so I'm really, really impressed with this place. I mean, it was a choice of staying at a hotel, like we always do somewhere in the center of the city, or it was a choice of staying in one of these places. And I'm telling you, I love this place. This is amazing. And it's not even that expensive. And I would even stay here for like a week, uh, maybe like a week and a half. And I'm, I can tell you right now, I'm not missing Kiev at all. And now we're gonna head down to uh, Poltava's uh, to the center of Poltava. We're gonna do a little bit of walking around Poltava. I'm gonna show you around so you can get an idea of what a second tier Ukrainian city looks and feels like. So here we are in the center of Poltava looking for a very well-known pedestrian street because that is the main area of attraction here. Poltava is what I would call your quintessential second tier city in Ukraine. This is your second tier city and Poltava is a cool city. It's not a big city. It's not a very well developed city. It, it's not really anything special if you think about it. This is my second time in Poltava Marina has also been to Poltava before and honestly I didn't like Poltava the first time I was here I don't really feel anything special about it but now thinking about it that was several years ago Poltava is great if you need a break from Kiev if you're living in Kiev, Kharkov, one of these big cities you need a break Poltava is an option because everything is cheaper here it's easier people are not as crazy people are not as uh, rough i would say than in, in cities like kiev and as a result you can come here go on the break the road was excellent amazing road from kiev driving which is a big deal in ukraine and so now we're gonna go and explore the main pedestrian street where a lot of action happens and it is that way somewhere over there all right so here we are on the main street of poltava this is the main pedestrian street here and the last time I was here, I remember they had all these restaurants along the street. And as you can see right now, it's all empty. This is completely empty right now. And that could be, maybe it has something to do with the, the COVID situation, with the quarantine. Although Poltava is not as bad as Kiev right now. In Kiev, there's a full lockdown. Uh, you can't, you know, you can't eat, the gyms are closed, everything is closed. But as far as I know, Poltava, Poltava and the Poltavska Oblast is not in a lockdown but actually they told me yesterday when we arrived that uh, the restaurants are closed here unfortunately and as a result you just have this pedestrian street and this is this main street uh, there's gonna be the street they have these restaurants at least they had uh, last time there's a really gonna be a really cool park in the distance uh, some really nice historical buildings uh, really nice architecture that I'm gonna show you in a second from what we gather and so unfortunately we can't really show you 
the real, how it really looks in the summertime with all these restaurants, all of these nice places, because right now there's nothing open. And it's a shame because Poltava is not in the red quarantine zone uh, as it's measured uh, by the COVID cases and stuff like that. And so we're gonna continue along this main street and we're gonna look at some of the beautiful architecture and the beautiful, the beautiful monuments of this central Ukrainian or maybe even a little bit Eastern, I would say it's central. Poltava I would consider still central. Ukrainian city and we're only about hour and a half, two hours from Kharkov, so we're very close. And the other thing about Poltava is it's predominantly a Russian city again. They're, they're mainly speaking Russian here. The language of choice seems to be Russian, which is something that I did not expect when I first came here, because I thought people mostly going to be speaking Ukrainian. But you do hear a lot of Russian here. So as you can see, it says it's closed. The restaurant is only working in the uh, to take out. I have a funny story to tell you. I used to have this friend and his dream, his dream in life. Well, maybe not in life, but he had a dream of moving to Poltava and renting a little studio in the center. And he is from originally from Dnipro, but uh, he used to live in Kiev for a while. And he had this dream. And this was before I even went to Poltava and I figured like Poltava as is the case with a lot of these other smaller cities they all look very beautiful they all look like Lvov, Lviv and uh, you know cities like that but after I came here I thought to myself this is just a regular city it's nothing particular special it's very pleasant it's very comfortable but it's not as beautiful as Lviv or some of these other cities. But nevertheless, there's some really good things. Like right now, we are coming close to one of the main parks here in Poltava. And there's a lot of parks, as is the case in a lot of these ex-Soviet Union cities. In Ukraine, there's a lot of parks. Each city has a main park. It has a city park. It has a um, some other park. There's all these parks all over the city, which is a signature in uh, Ukraine, Eastern Europe. And so this is a main park that you get from that main street, that main pedestrian street, which is really the center of the city. You can think of that pedestrian street as Krishatik in Kiev. And as you can see, this is a beautiful park. It's starting to become green here in the beginning, middle of April now. Uh, beginning to look very, very nice. Very beautiful. And as you can see, this is one half of the park. On the other side of the street, you have another half of the park. Huge park, you have some really beautiful benches. You have a lot of areas, you have some kids playing in the distance. Here we are approaching one of the main figures in Ukrainian history, and this is Taras Shevchenko, 1926. And if you've been following this channel long enough, you're, you've probably noticed that there's these monuments all over Ukraine, because he's the most popular, the single most popular figure in Ukraine. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of other uh, the well-known personalities, but he is the main one, very nationalistic, very, very, very Ukrainian. But take a look at this building across the street. That looks like a really cool building. So let's, let's come closer and check it out. And this is actually a museum. This is a Poltavan local lore. Museum Vasil Krychevsky Museum. It's open on Monday, Tuesday to Sunday and closed on Wednesday. So this is something that one can check out. If they're interested, I'm not a huge museum guy. I've been to a lot of museums in my life. But I do have to admit, this is a very, very beautiful building. This is, as you can see, it says here, Pamitnik Architekture, which means this is a monument, architecture monument, has a very special name. 
1902-1908. Uh, it's actually protected by law. Very, very cool buildings. I do like the buildings, not crazy about visiting the museum. And here's the second half of this park, across that street. Once you come over this way, you're gonna see the second half of the park. It looks very, very similar to the first half. You have these benches, you have uh, what looks like a fountain that's gonna be working in the summer. You have a children's playground here. In the distance, the grass is not green yet. But I gotta say, it's a very, very beautiful, this part of Poltava. <laughs> Вы ни разу не покупали, да? Нет. Там всякие места, например, но хлебобулочные. Они просто что свежие, сразу вот купили, сразу разбирают. Да? Да. А вы крайняя, да? Да. да. I also want to give you a recipe if you want to uh, move to Poltava or you're thinking about it. The best way to go about it is uh, if you're interested in coming, just rent an apartment on this street, on this uh, pedestrian street, or one of the streets that are perpendicular to it or maybe one of the parallel streets and that's it stick to this neighborhood get an apartment it's going to be a lot cheaper than in kiev and you know you're going to be living in a nice city with all the amenities all the restaurants uh transport links uh you can get on the train you can be in kiev uh you can be in kharkov and the way i look at it is poltava is a good city for those of you who are not big city people you know you want to live in a smaller city you want to be exposed to more real Ukrainian culture, unlike something like Kiev, which is, you know, a capital that has a people from all over Ukraine. Right? You guys understand what I'm saying. This is the same in, in any country. And so Poltava makes a, a perfect destination in that regard. It's a city that is nothing particularly special when I think about it. But if you are interested in having a very you know, kind of a quiet life, some downshifting. You can rent an apartment here. It's not going to cost expensive and you're going to be in the center of, you know, a relatively decent city here in Eastern Europe. This is the way I look at it. I would not rent an apartment on the outskirts of the city. I would not rent an apartment somewhere, you know, who knows where. Here in, on the street, very, very beautiful street. You're going to have all these restaurants once this lockdown is over and you're gonna have a very very nice way of life this is kind of what i this is the way i view Poltava. in Poltava this main street is going to be filled with restaurants outdoor seating outdoor venues which is going to make it a lot more pleasant okay we finished what we have to see in Poltava we had our stay and now we are going to go to Kharkov <laughs> 